Welcome to Brookwood Broadcast. First up, we have Brookwood Trivia with Lila, Tessa, and Addie. Hey, welcome to Brookwood Trivia. I'm Lila. And I'm Addie. Let's get started. I'm here with Dayton, and I'm going to be asking him a question about a teacher at our school. True or false, Miss Cottrell took dance lessons for 15 years. True. That's correct. Hi, I'm here with Hannah. And today I'm going to ask you a question about one of the teachers. Okay. Which teacher had a goat named Oreo? Um, Mr. Yago? No, it's Miss <laughs> Zelensky. Oh. Hi, I'm here with Allie. And today we're doing Brookwood trivia. True or false, Miss Denneke's son is a doctor. True. This is false, he's a nurse. Hi, I'm here with Lacey. Which teacher went to school? Um, Brookwood, as a kid, Miss Mozanski, Mrs. Erickson, Mr. Yago, or Mr. Laddick? Mr. Laddick. That's correct. Hi, I'm here with Kaja, and I'm going to be asking her a true or false question. Mr. Lewis lived in Omega when he was really little. True or false? True? Yeah. Hi, I'm here with Riley. And today I'm going to ask you a question about one of the Brookwood teachers. Okay. Which teacher just adopted a greyhound from Florida? Um, Mr. Laddick. No, it's Mr. Granahan. That's cool. That's the end of Brookwood Trivia. Bye. Bye. Wow, I didn't know some of those questions. Next, we have Brookwood Highlights with Evelyn. Hi, my name is Reese, and today I'm going to be talking about school events for the next few weeks. On October 1st, there will be the cross country team has their last meet at Salem. On October 2nd and 3rd, there will be girls basketball tryouts. On October 7th, there will be community yoga. It's five dollars per class, though. There will be men's open gym on October 7th from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Bye. Wow, there's a lot of stuff going on at Brookwood. Next up, we have sports with Billy and Sean. Bill Boy. And my name is Sean. And today we are going to tell you about the top ten. We're sports. In our opinion, of course. It's actually fact, but uh, don't, don't don't tell him I said that. Okay, number ten. Volleyball. It's all right to watch, but it's terrible to play. It's so much work to just hit a ball with like hand. Number nine. Golf. Only annoying rich people play it. And you just hit a ball with a stick and it hurt my hand when I play it, so yes, yeah, number nine. Number three. So curve. Just people kicking balls around a field, and if they get touched by something or like a slight bit of wind, they just topple. New no. wrestling. There's not even special moves or special items. It's boring. And it's pretty weird. And the final worst sport is number one, lacrosse. You carry a stick around and you try to catch a ball. It is pointless. Uh, yeah, Ben. End it. Wow, that was some really bad sports. Next, we have local Wisconsin news with me and Matthias. Hi, my name is Matthias. And my name is Rocco. And we are here with local Wisconsin news. A driver is in custody after a high-speed chase. CBS 58 was in a field and saw officers chasing a vehicle for miles. Wisconsin's Pink Walk is on Sunday, September 22nd, even though it passed. But about 7,000 people are excited are expected at Henry Meyer Festival Park for the annual walk. EEE has been found in three horses in Wisconsin. Health officials have found that the three horses that have EEE have died. Sis symptoms of EEE is fever, chills, muscle, and joint pain. That's it for local Wisconsin news. Bye. Wow, that was some good news. Up next, we have global world news with John and Joey. Brooklyn Broadcast. This is Global News. I'm with John. 
Our first topic is on an explosion at a Russian lab housing smallpox, Ebola, and other diseases. The, exp the explosion, which occurred on the fifth floor of the building, caused a fire that burned about 30 square meters. According to a statement from the lab, it also blew out some of the windows. The Vector Lab in Russia is one of two known labs in the world that maintains a stock of smallpox viruses, um, with the other being at the centers. What? for disease control in the U.S. It also <laughs> reportedly holds Ebola, bird flu, and other materials. A gas cylinder exploded at a Russia, at a Russia laboratory known for holding dangerous pathogens. One person was injured. No dangerous pathogens escaped. All right, for our next topic on global news is about a girl who lost her toy monkey in Buckingham Palace and got it returned by the queen. A girl on vacation uh, went to England on a tour of Buckingham, Buckingham Palace and lost her to a monkey, Harriet. When the girl got back home to Australia, she and her teacher wrote a letter to the Queen. The staff of Buckingham Palace found Harriet, flew him back to Australia along with a stuffed corgi named Rex. And that is everything for Global News. Bye. Wow, I didn't know that was happening in the world. Next, we have Real or Fake News with Pierce and Brian. Hi, I'm Pierce. I'm Brian. Today we are doing Real or Fake News. A man was spotted half-eaten in a treehouse. This is fake. A suspected mountain lion was caught on video that turned out to be a cat. This is real. Millions of memers are thinking about raiding Area 51. This is real. Barney can't die and he is immortal. This is fake. A woman sparks fire by burning love lighters. This is real. Bye. Have a good time. Adios. Wow, that was some good real or fake news. Up next, we have entertainment with Jaden. Wow, that was some nice entertainment. Next, we have comedy section with Zane, Aiden, and Riley. Hi, my name's Riley. I'm here with Maxine. And we got some jokes. Haha. <laughs> so, Maxine, I had a dream last night. <laughs> and I was swimming in an ocean of orange soda, but it was just a fantasy. <laughs> Hi, my name is Riley. This is Kaja. And we're doing comedy. Haha. Ha. Titanic. Sorry, I thought it would be a real icebreaker. Oh, haha. Hi, I'm Riley. This is Tessa. Tessa. I used to work at an origami factory, but then it folded. Ha ha. <laughs> I'm Zane. I'm Zegan. Hey, Zegan, guess what? What? I used to be a banker, oh, but yeah. I lost all interest. Ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> this is Zane. And, and this, this is Landon. I asked my French friend if she likes to play video games. She said we. Oui. <laughs> yeah. I'm Zane. And I'm Allie. I went to the Air and Space Museum. There's nothing there. What? <laughs> wow, I'm laughing on the inside. That was so funny. Uh, up next, it's upcoming National Nades and Weeks with Reno and Izzy. I'm Izzy. And I'm Reno. And this is National Dates in September and October. On September 18th is National Air Force Day. September 20th is National Pepperoni Pizza Day. Go eat pizza. September 22nd is National Ice Cream Day. Go get some ice cream. September 23rd is All Commonal Equinox. September 26th is National Pancake Day. Make yourself some pancakes. September 27th is National Chocolate Milk Day. 
September 29th is National Coffee Day. Go get a coffee or two. October 12th is National Vermont Day. And October 13th is National Dessert Day. And that's National Days. Bye. Wow, that was some interesting national days. Next, we have Tech Corner with CJ. Hi, my name is CJ, and this is the Tech Corner. Did you know that there is a Call of Duty, new Call of Duty game called Call of Duty Modern Warfare? Video game. Uh, this game is supposed to come out in October 25th, 2019. There is a new Pokemon game called Pokemon Sword and Shield. <laughs> this game is supposed to come out in November 15th, 2019. This is all for now. Goodbye. That was some those were some cool games. Up next we have DIY with Miranda. Hi, I'm Miranda. I'm going to teach you how to draw a baby shark. So first you need a piece of paper and pencil and color pencil too. Make a curved line, then make a fin by making a wave shape, then make a tail by doing a cr crescent moon shape, then make the body, make the eyes, wait, 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 then make the dorsal fin. Then uh, make make another fin. Then make like a belly mark, something like that. I don't know. Then make the nose. Then the eyes. Then color in gray or blue. Then make the mouse mouth. Then put the teeth in. Color it in gray or blue. Then and that's it, guys. This might take a minute, so hold on. Then that's it. Okay, bye. Thanks, Miranda, for showing us how to draw that. Now we have Stupid New Inventions with Lacey. Hi, today I'm going to show you five stupid inventions that were made in 2019. The first is a baby mop. The baby mop is a onesie for babies so they can clean up your messes. Like if you spill like juice or string cheese or something like that. And it looks like this. The second invention is the toilet car. The toilet car is used to go to the bathroom while you're on the road. So maybe in the highway and you have to, uh, I don't know, go to the bathroom, just go in your toilet car. It looks like this. The third dimension is the computer privacy scarf. The scarf goes on you like a hoodie does, and it connects to the computer so you have privacy. It looks like this. The fourth invention is the pizza fork. The pizza fork has a pizza cutter on it, so you can cut your pizza and eat it. The pizza fork is honestly one of the dumbest inventions in my book. This is what it looks like. The fifth and final dumb invention is the remote wrangler. The remote wrangler is so that you don't lose your remote. It's like a ski mask around your head and it holds all of your remotes and this is what it looks like thanks for rocking, watching stupid inventions bye thanks for watching our first brookwood broadcast bye, bye.